Hey. Hi. We're here. Yeah. Battle, 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 boys. Battle, 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 boys. I'm instantly regretting the song now. <laughs> Do we have to finish it? Is there an end to it? Um. Battle boys. Battle boys. Without Tom. Without Tom. Tom's not here. No, Lewis isn't here. He's in Japan. Yeah, as um, always. Tom is somewhere else. Tom is trapped aboard that spaceship. Maybe. Oh, this is it. This is the battle to save Tom. The battle to save Tom. And yeah, then yeah. he, if we win, he gets. He has to be a battle boy because he's saved by the battle boys. Has he signed something? Yes. Well, we'll make him sign it, otherwise he doesn't get saved. Should we find out what the outcome is first before we try and <laughs> sort of sneak <laughs> right. him on this one? <laughs> because there's no point in us trying really hard to win this and then we lose it oh. and then get him to sign it and be like, oh, That's I didn't true. do we'll it. We'll save it. We'll wait to see if we've saved it. And then when he's got his hand coming through the airlock, we'll be like, uh, just swap yeah. this through the little slot. We can test to see if he actually watches the stream. Oh, That'd be smart. good, wouldn't it? would be like, yeah. Because well, if he donates, then he doesn't have to be a battle boy. Oh, yeah, Tom... If you don't want to be a battle boy, donate now. Yeah, and if you don't donate, we know you are watching. Um, and if you don't donate, then you are clearly happy to be a battle boy. Exactly. You die. That's the most, yeah. It's foolproof. It's foolproof, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, so today we're, we're battling, but we're yes. playing with ourselves. We are. We thought battle boys don't, don't hurt other battle boys. No, we're battle bros We're today. battle brothers. <laughs> today, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to play um, a fan-made expansion for X-Wing the Miniatures game called Heroes of the Otori Cluster, which is, I say fan-made, but holy shit, it's more professional than most game expansions. Can you just like flick yeah. through that on the, on the dice cam? I feel like that's really just not doing it justice. Yeah, so it's a, that's what it's called there. You and can find it on the internet. It's got lovely double-sided, sorry, I'm kind of a bit... But you can see, like, it's, yeah. it's properly laid out. It's got it's, an index. It's, it's nicely it's laid got, out. It's, it's got, got lovely index, pictures. It's got pictures. It's got scenarios. It's got all sorts of stuff in it. And it's a good, chunky book if you download it and print it. And yeah, I sent it to a proper printer to be, like, bound because yeah. it deserved it. They, yeah. they put the effort in. Yeah. I felt like I should too. And it cost millions of pounds, didn't it? Well, to print, yeah. No, no, but no. For you for to that, get no, off the, the internet. These guys, they did it for free. Did it for free. For look free. At look at that. Maniacs. Exactly. And look, it comes with all this crap too. Cards. So many cards. All of the cards. All I, the I had to cut all these out, actually. That was a bit of a mm. but, um So what this is, this is a, a rule set campaign for solo play or... Or like group cooperative play. Group cooperative play and... The evil Imperial TIE Fighters are yeah. controlled by a sophisticated cardboard-based AI. <laughs> <laughs> Which goes something a bit a bit like this, which is their thing. These are this is a Tie Fighter for all of you Star Trek nerds at home that don't <laughs> yeah. know what a Star Wars is. Um, so yeah, and this is basically what it will what do. It's, what it's going to do depending on where its enemy points. is. Yeah. It's got, I mean, to be honest, it's yeah. going to play smarter than we do. I think. Speak yourself. <laughs> You're an X-wing pro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm to X-wing what you are to Armada. Oh, holy shit! Yeah. People just haven't heard of me. But you just don't brag about it. Well, they can't pronounce my surname. <laughs> so that's part no. of it. <laughs> He's a mysterious man who starts with K. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh, Although man. that's not me today. Today, if anyone's sending any messages, mm -hmm. I would like them to refer to me as Duke Dogwalker. This is my <laughs> this is my my pilot handle. We're not gonna allow Can we you show off your, your ship on cam. Yeah, we're this not gonna Alex we're today. not gonna let you guys name our ships because because he's Duke Dirklander because Duke Dogwalker <laughs> <laughs> Dirklander um, so Dogwalker. Okay. that's me but there's a plethora of bad guys over and there we've got two good guys, guys you can name as well we've got our, our Y-Wing buddy yeah. who's derping along with us our heavy support mm -hmm. remember the Y-Wings from the old the old yeah. films we've got him he's hanging out he needs a name that's me I'm, I'm Dirk Sidewinder mm. So this is a yeah. These are um, these three ships here. This is are, us. This is a, this is us. Mm -hmm. um, so Ben's the fancy one with the golden nose um, and the stripe and the stripe. And then this can be one of you guys. Mm -hmm. And, and we've, we're trying to rescue our buddy, our buddy Tom. This guy, Tom's in this this mm. ship, but he needs a call sign. Yeah. Angle. So if anyone wants to donate to to name the mission objective ship, yeah. 
That would be cool. It's containing Angor Solo. We've got a whole host of evil TIE fighters mm -hmm. um, who need names. And we have the Elite. Maybe he's a Baron. Maybe mm. he's not. He's this TIE Interceptor with a red stripe who is a total badass. He's going to come in and fuck us up at some point. Mm -hmm. So he needs an awesome, evil-sounding, Red Baron-esque Yeah, the, um, the name. evilest name gets that guy. Yeah. yeah. The most appropriate donation with the best evil bad guy mm. pilot name. Yeah. I'm not sure whether or not Baron Donkeyfish <laughs> is good enough, but we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully, I mean, that, that's the bar. Might Hopefully, be. someone can, can pip over the bar. <laughs> Baron Von Donkeyfish. Oh, okay. Ah, You're getting close. Dr. Baron Von Donkeyfish. <laughs> it's getting eviler and eviler by the, by the minute. Oh, man. So, I'll set the scene while you mm. guys have a think about whether you, wanna, you want in or not. Mm. Um, our mission, should we choose to accept it? is rescue rebel operatives. We've received an encrypted message from one of our rebel operative teams in the Argus system. They were engaged in covert reconnaissance of Imperial facilities in a nearby asteroid field. Their Hawk 290 has sustained heavy damage to its weapons and hyperdrive. They won't be able to make it back in one piece with their findings unless we can scramble some fighter cover. There's a good bet the Empire has already dispatched fighters to intercept them. Ooh. So the, the mission here is that Hawk has to fly off our table edge here, this on my hand is. Mm -hmm. He needs to get fly off this board edge. It starts over here. He needs to get over here without dying. Um, the enemies have already scrambled TIE fighters here and here. And there are at least three more TIE squadrons that are en route mm -hmm. coming to attack. Um, everyone except the, the elite ace. The elite ace pilot is on orders to engage us directly. Mm -hmm. The other TIE fighters all have orders to attack the Hawk. Wow. So we have to shoot them out of the sky and make ourselves tastier targets. Yeah, we've got to fix that. Um, and that's that's the game. Cool. Let's see if we can do it. Well, that work, that works for me. So, yeah, what's a, what's your cool sign? Um, I'm I'm Dirk Sidewinder. Dirk Sidewinder and Duke Dogwalker. Yeah. Perfect. To get they have sent in Team Double D. The Double D. They, they said just give them give them the horns of the buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean the horns of the buffalo? Give them the Double D. <laughs> a D on each side. A D on Blur. each side with the perfect. Should we call it? I don't know. Finger trap. <laughs> the finger trap. <laughs> it's not very space age, is it? It's not very. Is <laughs> it's not, it? not sort of the sort of doesn't strike fear into the no into the heart of like your the, opponent. The, 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 the howl of the kulaks. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, that sounds a bit spacey. The, the, the wampers fist. Oh, the wampers claw. The wampers claw. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And then how does um, unnamed Y wing pilot fit into the strategy? Uh, bait. <laughs> right, he's bait. the bait. He's the bait. Perfect. <laughs> Tie bait, get in there. Yeah, I mean, I think I think he could be quite useful in this because we're outnumbered pretty badly already, aren't we? Yes. Um, it's three to five. Mm. Oh, should we should go through. We we have a little bit of experience that we spent on some upgrades, and yeah. after the, if we complete this mission and choose to play it again, we'll earn a bit more experience, and we can keep like leveling up our, our pilots. Mm. Um, so our unnamed Y wing, as of yet, mm. has got two upgrades. He's got. We'll show these bad boys he's off. He's got a pair of these. So he's got an iron cannon turret mm -hmm. and proton torpedoes. So he's pretty heavily loaded. He's yeah. like our heavy weapons boy. So those both do things. If you, Most people have played X-Wing, haven't they? I think we'll do one turn and, and everyone who doesn't know how to play will have figured it out because it's relatively straightforward. Yeah, yeah, because it's sort of, you, you have these things. These are, these are turning, uh, these are sort of turning dials. So you, mm -hmm. you bid where you're going to go. This is the X-Wing and this allows you to choose... Yeah, Either, this, is, this is a right-handed short turn. That's a sharp right-handed mm -hmm. turn. That's a fast, straightforward. That's like a hook back on yourself. Or do a do a backflip. Do a barrel. barrel do, a, roll. do a barrel roll. These are these are light turns, left and right. So yeah, so each ship's got a slightly different movement mm. dial like this. But the Y wing is much less maneuverable mm. than any other ship here. And then to correspond to those, you've got these. Different things, yeah. which is where your ships are so going to go. Whichever one of those maneuvers you picked, you stick that stick in front of your ship and just move it to the end of the stick. And then there are rules for shootings. There's strange shaped dice, which everybody loves. Oh, yeah. More um, sides are better there's, sides. Can everyone see the difference on these? The dice cam's looking quite good today. And it's pretty focused, isn't it? Yeah. Good. How's that happened? Because, yeah, there's a. So, yeah, if, when so you're shooting, a... you roll red dice and you want explosions. And when you're dodging, you roll green dice and you want squirly whirlies. Yeah. And these are the different, yeah, the different things. So they've got a number of blanks on them. And effectively, every squirly whirly cancels out an explosion. Yeah, the squirly whirly is what it's called in the 
Yeah, I'm taking Book, sk- squirly it? whirly action. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's what they say as they do a barrel roll. I don't, I don't remember that. I'm going to do, do a squirly whirl. Look out. It was, it was Slishy, wasn't it? Slishy. What was his name? Do a barrel roll. It wasn't. No. He was the frog. No, it wasn't Slishy. What was his name? The chat is screaming at us now. It probably is, isn't it? What was he called? Slappy? Jumpy? S- slippy? Flippy? Slippy. Slippy. Yeah, I think it was Slippy. slippy. Yeah. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it was definitely Slippy. Yeah, Slippy. Do a barrel roll. Do a barrel roll. Yeah. Yeah. So when top, po- top points if you know the name of the rabbit. I remember Falco. Yeah, was Falco. The Falcon. Yeah. I don't know what the, what the... Star Fox. Star Fox. Was, was the fox. Yeah. <laughs> So I've got, I've got three out of four. Yeah. Although I feel like the rabbit's probably worth as many points as the other mm. three put together. Mm. Pepe? The rarest of Pepe's. Space you know Pepe. Pepe? Pepe the rabbit? It should have been what the frog was called. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Let, let, let us know what the rabbit's called. Should we, um, should we play with ourselves then? Yeah. Um, let's play, play together. Yeah. Against let's play them. together against you guys, because you guys are the evils. Well, that's the way we've, we've planned it. So you guys have got, got bad, a bad's eye view. Mm. Of the battlefield. Right, well, let's play this game quickly and then we can get on with another game. And we, yeah, perfect. I'm excited. I haven't right. played this in years. No. Uh, yeah. Dials. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you start, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. What does let's, the AI do? Let's grab our things. Yeah, cool. Um, so, what, what's our strat for the Hawk? Is it just gun him forward ASAP? Yeah, I think so. We probably have to do a little bit of a swervo to avoid this. Um, this asteroid. This asteroid here, but I think we should yeah. do that a bit now, later on. He start, I should point out the Hawk has his guns disabled and mm-hmm. his hyperdrive is disabled. So he literally just needs to fly off the board. But he's also got a damaged sensor array. Okay. Which means he can't take an action until he's fixed it. Um, and his actions can make him a bit tougher to hit. Mm-hmm. So if we gun full speed four, yeah. he'll be too stressed to even try to fix his thing. Mm-hmm. But if we go speed three, then he gets a chance to fix his thing. Yeah, that works for me. Okay, mm-hmm. bam. Speed ahead three. I don't like how I'm on the side against three dudes. Well, take Johnny Hyperspace with you. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna gun it. I kind of know what I'm doing. I'm going four. Forwards. Four. You give four forwards. Have we decided what this guy's doing, or should we just uh, random? <laughs> should we play Alex Roulette? Let's see what you ended up with. Twitch plays <laughs> Johnny Hyperspace. Cool. Um, That's Johnny Hyperspace's move. Perfect. Okay, now we do the AI. So the AI is. Um, Bit of a fiddle, but basically they want to. These ties are going for that ship. Mm-hmm. So um, Alpha Squadron over here <coughs> is going to um, go for this one. Oh, do you want to roll the dice in the yeah, in yeah. the dice cam? Do some dice rolling. Tell me what you got. Number five. Five. That is a uh, hard two. Can you give me the, the hard two. Mm-hmm. Oof. Give me, give me, give me that hard two. Oh, oh he does literally slot the maneuver thing. Yeah, like that. Bam. And then this guy's wingman follows him. Information. Oh yeah, because these guys are a squadron. So yeah, they until they get disrupted thing. by ramming something or they get sh- they, they get damaged, they'll keep their squadron formation and act as one unit. It's quite quite solid moving by the uh, yeah by not, the AI. Not though. a dumb move at all. Didn't uh, fly off the table. <laughs> no, already <laughs> you know, doing better than us. <laughs> uh, they are in range of their target, so they're going to um, they're going to focus. Mm-hmm. They're going to take the focus action, which makes them slightly better at shooting. Mm-hmm. And then they're going to take their shots. So, uh, lead TIE Fighter um, gets two red dice for shooting. If Alex, you could do the honours. Boo, boo, boo. He's landed one hit. One hit. Um, the Hawk rolls two evades, but because it's at extreme range, it actually rolls three evades because it's harder to hit at long range. Ah, oh, so one dodger. One dodger. That's what we needed, the squirler. Squirly. The squirly, squirly squirrel. Perfect. So that first tie it. misses. Uh, second tie, same, same dice again. Same again. So there he goes. So he will... Oh, we'll wait and see what the greens roll. The okay, squirly. so the squirly cancels out the hit. Mm-hmm. And these eyeballs, you can turn them into hits or dodges if you have the focus token, mm-hmm. which this chap does. So he will spend his focus token to turn that into an extra hit. And our hawk does not have a token. So um, he takes a hit. So he loses one of his shields. <laughs> Two shields remaining from the hawk. It's no good, is it? No good at all. Terrible. And we've played this slightly wrong. Have we? Yeah, because we should have moved everyone. We should have moved we everyone shooting. before we did shooting. But this is fine. Okay, that's he, how shooting works. <laughs> he, he might just about have been in range. Yeah, if I think he's going four straight range. forward, he's going to be here or so. Yeah, it shouldn't make any difference. Uh, yeah, just about. 
Mm -hmm. So the other TIE Squadron, uh, can yeah. you roll a dice to see what manoeuvre they decide to take? Yeah. Uh, they go four, four um, which is the same manoeuvre again. Okay. These guys... Mm -hmm. Hold their formation. Uh, they are in range, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, and arc, so they will take a... Focus each. Mm-hmm. No, oh, Hawk is going this way. Going three forwards. Three woods. Um, and then there's an action. Roll a dice. If you roll a hit, it fixes its damage sensor array. Ooh. Nope. No, still broken. Busted. Come on, Engine Seer. Mm -hmm. 98. Try harder. So what are you what are you doing, Ben? Um, I'm going forwards. I'm going forwards as well. Cool, give me that four. Because we've got to get in there quick. At, the, at this rate, ties are gonna rip that thing apart. Mm-hmm. So we have an option as um once we're within range one of the hawk, mm -hmm. we can spend our action to give the hawk an evade token to represent us like flying past it and giving it an escort. Oh, that makes sense. That's quite um, cool. So that'd be handy. Mm -hmm. We should probably do some of that. And what's old Johnny Hyperspace up to? Johnny Hyperspace is... Are you, Ooh, are you kidding? Did you literally it. pick one at random? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is going to be a hard enough mission. Without think? fucking Johnny Hyperspace derping around at the back. Well, I don't know, it was kind of cool. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Do you think we should slow down a bit? Um, Speed that thing up and give Johnny a bit of time to catch up with us. Yeah, he needs to get in there. Start firing his ion turrets. That's cool. Huh? Okay, he'll get there. He'll, he'll get, get there in the end. He'll get there. Um, so now we do shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, we shoot first, but we're not in range. No. Um, oh, you, you could take an action though. You mm. could um, use your engine upgrade. Ooh. Oh, we didn't talk about our upgrades, did we? Oh yeah, yeah. So I've got, I've got a couple of a couple of engine upgrades. I've got a droid. The can I read that? You got R five X three. Yeah, R five X three. Who's the coolest droid ever? Um, which means before I reveal my manoeuvre, I can stop myself from crashing into an asteroid. Yeah, you can discard the astromech to not hit an asteroid. Which is pretty pretty sweet. And an engine upgrade, that means I'm more likely to hit an asteroid. <laughs> Perfect, because you can take extra boosts. Yeah, so I can do it's a winning combination. additional boosting, but I can also dodge it. Okay, and I've taken um, another droid. I've got um, R2-D6, who lets me uh, take a piloting upgrade. And my piloting upgrade I've taken is Expose. As my action, I can choose to um, reduce my defensive dice to increase my offensive dice. Ooh. So I can go balls deep mm. and just take take some damage. That's my, that's my maneuver, expose. Nice. I'm, the, I'm a space flasher. So do you think I should I should use my engine upgrade? Yeah, get in there. I think yeah. you need to get, get in ASAP, because I mean, we've, we've already lost a shield. Well, you think I should just go and die quickly? Or start killing them quickly. You know, yeah. I'm a half... It's last full kind of guy. <laughs> oh, they, they are actually focusing on that thing first, aren't they? Yeah. So yeah, that's that's cool. So yeah, so maybe I'll just do another another manoeuver then. Oh, well, the, the, the engine so upgrade lets my, you do either. Do, do a spare. It's one of these two. You can go, go forward one or sideways one. Yeah, yeah. So I think sort of I'll start zipping this way. This one seems longer than the other one. Yeah, it's longer. Hmm. That gets me in a little bit faster. OK, sweet. Um, then the, the other tie squadron is going to shoot. Mm -hmm. Are they all in range still? I've got to turn it over. If you, don't, if you use the wrong colour, well, why the hell are you playing this game? Ties shoot green lasers. Is that? Do they? Mm -hmm. They're all shoot red ones. It's inconsistent though, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know why like the lasers on the on the swords are different colours. And True, the... and the stormtroopers shoot red lasers. Exactly. But the TIE fighters shoot green. <sighs> it's confusing. Should we just have a chat about... Really get into, get into Star Wars. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's discussed this on the internet before. I don't think anyone on the internet cares about Star Wars. No. Not to that degree. No. <laughs> They're not that bothered, is it? They're probably all just turned off at home as well in Star Wars. Yeah, I mean, who's watching this? They're not going to get many clicks, are we? They're probably all out watching the new Solo movie. Oh, is that out today? Soon. End of this week Pretty or something, sure. isn't it? It's no, it's, yeah, it's literally from midnight tonight. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. going to go see it in the morning. Oh, are you? Yeah. You're going literally here. Literally, to, like, 9 o'clock. <laughs> with his spoiler headphones on on the way to it. <laughs> well, you have to, with Terps. Holy shit. He's is a, he really bad? He's a spoiler machine. He's a walking spoiler. Oh, jeez. You literally cannot go anywhere. I was going to come in and get do some stuff in the office tomorrow, but 
It's just not safe for yeah, the next three days. <laughs> so whoever's subscribed to Terps' channel mm-hmm. or on his Instagram feed or, or any of that nonsense or his Twitters, unsubscribe now. Yeah, or just block, mute him for or a day. Mute him for a day or something. Because... Although, no, he's, he's actually, he's really good online. He's good never, online. He's good, but he can't help himself from walking to the office and say, look, it's not really a spoiler, guys, <laughs> but the big hairy guy... Not naming any names. <laughs> Not naming any names. There's a punch off a crossbow. <laughs> yeah. He does a thing. He does it. He does this thing. It's kind of cool. Yeah. And it just, oh, it's so annoying. Because then you spend the whole film going, is this the bit he was talking about? Uh, oh, is this shit. the bit he was talking about? Yeah, because any amount of spoiler is enough of a spoiler. Just even a hint, because it throws you straight out of the immersion. Exactly. You want like, to stay immersed the entire time and not be worrying about... That everything. was that thing someone was talking about. And you start thinking about their smug little face when they came <laughs> grinning, into it, grinning at you in the office on the way there. That's not what it's about, is it? That's not why I go to the movies. But he loves yeah. it. He'll he'll look on Reddit for like um, script leaks and stuff like that. Like he already knows how Game of Thrones is going to end. Um, what did he read the books? Has he cheated? <laughs> the books aren't finished, are they? <laughs> like some kind of nerd. <laughs> Apparently, the scripts got leaked like somewhere online. I, mean, I, I knew what, I knew what was going to happen in Lord of the Rings decades <gasps> before it even came out. <laughs> before it was Why even, would you ruin it for before yourself? Before it was even a movie. <laughs> I read that thing inside. You sat there watching the cartoon from the seventies or whatever it was, going, "Yeah, (laughs) yeah, know how this is going." Oh Jesus, that was a mess. (laughs) Yeah, I think it just sort of ends. They just ran out of money, and it just ends. It just just ends. Nothing happens. Partway, halfway through the second book, or something. I don't know what's happening here. Apparently, the Beatles wanted to finish it, and they had like serious money to throw at buying the Mm. license. But um, the Tolkien estate. Just told them to get lost. Yeah, so I don't care how much money you've got. <laughs> um, you're not yellow submarine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, oh shit! Can you imagine? It would have just been a joke, wouldn't it? Would have been insane. Because it's it was relatively serious the way that it was done, and it's always been fairly serious fantasy. No yeah. one, no one, disc worlded it up and made the wizards super derpy and oh, gave no. the dragons goofy voices and you yeah. oh, know. I can't even imagine it. It's too awkward. Mm. Thank you. Right, we need to shoot Beta Squadron mm. as shooting at uh, Engine Seer's Hawk. Um, mm-hmm. 28, who's this? Take a shot for Viking Cookie. Viking Cookie, you're two, in. Two reds. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, oh, well, he's going to convert what? He's going to use his focus token mm-hmm. to make that into one hit. Yep. And then we get three evades. Nope. Oh, it's one more hit. Another, oh my so it's God. another this shield way, off we, the hawk. Yeah, the sh- hawk's only got one shield left. Um, can... Okay, next guy is 25. I feel like we're doing something wrong. We're losing super bad already. Uh, were they supposed to start on the board? Yeah. Shit. Uh, okay, Loop Omega. He's lining up for a shot. Loop Omega. He's doing the same thing. Uh, he's landed one. Makes a hit. And the Hawk. Oh, Alex. What, you're busting my balls here, man. Do you want to swap seats? Are you, <laughs> are you better at <laughs> yeah. dice rolling? This is really... so. Hopefully the luck will just balance itself out. If I'm if doing you're all, all of the dice, dice for the entire game, <laughs> yeah, then no one will hit anything. Then no one will hit anything, yeah. and we might as well just <laughs> yeah. go and snuggle up on the sofa somewhere. Like go to go to the cantina, book a booth out, and mm. we'll just be buddies. Perfect. And we just hang out in Moss Eisley and have a couple of blue milks. That sounds um, good to me. But actually, I've managed to. Be you're going to end this game in five minutes. Cu- cutting myself in Peter's <laughs> <quadrant>. <laughs> There's no blue milk till we save the hawk. <laughs> Okay, you're try right, I'll, I'll concentrate now. I'll concentrate. Right, uh, well, that's the end of the turn. Mm-hmm. So now we set some new maneuvers. Yeah, cool. Um, I guess it's just full speed ahead. Really shit, we need to get in there. Mm. Oh. I think if I went full speed ahead, I might crash into that asteroid. Oh, it's likely, yeah, isn't it? It's very likely. Don't do that. But I've got my special thing. You could, yeah, burn your droid up. But it ignores obstacles until the end of the round, and then I will have started my next round could, on top of... But you could boost the... past it. Do you reckon that's enough space for me to do that? Because, yeah, you'll end up like here, and then you'll boost, and you'll end up like over here. Yeah. Yeah, so that works. Right. So, R5X3, it's been nice knowing you. But the first asteroid I saw, I rammed you into. <laughs> <laughs> wow! So, yeah, so... Hold on, they need to make their manoeuvres before we... We yeah. do all this chisel bizzle. Mm-hmm. Um, what are we going to do with the hawk? I guess, I, I think maybe we should gun him four and just not worry about fixing the sensor array. Full speed. Because he's, he's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's going to die. Yeah, yeah. 
No, he's he's got to get out of there. And I'll be okay. the closest bait. Yes. Yeah, so that's draw their fire at that stage. Yeah. That's a good plan. So if he can, if if we can get him in behind us here, mm -hmm. and we'll bubble wrap him a little bit. Okay, good stuff. And what about old uh, Johnny Hyperspace at the back? Oh. I guess he just hard turns again to try and get back in the game, right? Do you think? Or should we random him again? No, more random Johnny Hyperspace. Please. Please. <laughs> do, you, do you think that, that sort of ruined, ruined the game a bit for him? Making me cry. Oh, I don't know. I thought it was quite a solid solid tactic, just uh, just picking a random one. All right, hopefully I've got that arrow the right way around. Oh, that is the classic X-Wing manoeuvre. The moment your ships are flying backwards, then you you get your lefts and rights mixed up. Mm. Games can end that way. What, what kind of kind of guy are you when uh, first person shoots him up? Because you have to sort of choose oh, whether yeah. you go. So when I'm looking on a, up, looking up on or a looking control down, pad, yeah. I have to invert upsy downsies every time. Right? Every time, but on a mouse, I don't. No, I don't know why. Can't explain it. I guess I played a lot of flight sims as a kid. Oh, so yeah, if I've got a little yeah. stick, I'm used to pulling up, pulling down. That is up. Mm. That is down. Mm. And that is alone. Got it. Perfect. <laughs> right. Nice. Um, okay, so we're on turn two. So next turn, uh, turn three, that's when Lord Volcanus turns up. Holy shit, we better so, bug out of it. Yeah, we need, to, we need to get our skates on. So uh, mm -hmm. Alpha Squad, over here. Mm -hmm. This is, um, you know, who's that, 15 and 24? That is uh, Kazar and Donkeyfish. What are, they, what are they up to? Mm -hmm. Their target is dead ahead and uh, running away. So they're going to roll on, is it dead ahead? Yeah, it is. Cool. So uh, roll dice. Two. two. They're going to go forward five. They're just gunning at full wow. speed. Oh, they're trying to get in behind the hawk. Yeah. They've, I think they've overshot it. Like, that's nice. probably too much. Don't be fishing because they are. But what they're going to do now is have a think. They're not going to focus because they've got nothing to shoot at. So they're going to do a little maneuver called a barrel roll. Mm. Where they, they sort of maneuver sideways while speeding forwards. Like this. That's their turn done. Whoop. Barrel rolls complete. Mm -hmm. um, and then the beta squadron, which is Viking Cookie, Luke Omega. Um, three. Three. They're going to do the same thing. Gun at five. Mm -hmm. And uh, then they're too close to do the barrel roll. Yeah. So um, they're just going to evade. They're going to take evasive action. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. This, no, they're not. They, they think two of them are. Mm. These two are going to focus, and that one's going to evade. They think they've got shots on him. No, okay. he hasn't moved yet. Uh. And then the hawk moves. Mm -hmm. And we've told it to gun forward four, which is such a hard maneuver for the hawk that it stresses it out. It takes a stress token. Mm. It means it can't take any actions until it has performed a green maneuver to like calm itself down. Mm -hmm. So he's like, Oh, you know, like that in the movies when they were like on the blast off pad and their like cheeks are going like this. Oh. Yeah, getting some of those, pulling some G's mm. before the, the double D's come to the rescue. The double D's and the. <laughs> the old Johnny Hyperspeed. Oh, Johnny Hyperspeed. Just. <laughs> Just, he's here too. Practicing his boating. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's his first mission. 